Hello beautiful people. So today I just wanted to talk about a method that I used in the beginning to basically figure out where I needed to fill my wax in my jars. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So, you found your jar. Now you need to know, okay, where do I fill or how much wax do I use to fill this jar up to the point of where it's not overfilled for a candle? So there are many methods out there. There are many calculations, all types of math formulas and all of that unnecessary stuff that you can use to basically figure it out. or you can try a simpler method and I'll show you that in a second but I just want to talk about the jar so when you go online and you find the jar that you would like to use it's basically going to give you the weight of the jar so for this jar it's about 13 and a half ounces what that means is they basically took in water filled the jar up to the point where you would be able to safely fill wax for a candle and then called it 13 and a half ounces. Now, water is heavier than wax. Even if wax is in solid form, liquid form, it doesn't matter. Water is heavier than wax. So that will definitely not work. So what I've done, well, when I began testing and trying to figure these things out for myself, I basically took my jar, I filled my jar up with water, and the 13 and a half ounces equaled about here. And again, I'm gonna show you this after I'm done basically explaining everything. 13 and a half ounces of water stopped about here for my jar. So what I did after that was I measured 13 and a half ounces of wax inside of my pouring pitcher. After that, I took the wax and I melted it down. I placed my jar on top of my scale at zero, of course. And then I filled the jar with the wax up until the point that's basically recommended for wax fill. Um, so that really helped me to not have to try to make all of these calculations. And I deal with 10, jar 10 candle jars as well as glass candle jars and it's different so um, I basically use that method for both and it worked out really really well we're not putting a wick in we're not putting fragrance oil in we're basically just using one of our jars now use one of the jars that you're going to use that you're going to be selling because if you try to use a different jar just to test this method, it's not going to be accurate for the actual candle that you're going to be making. So just keep that in mind. Don't try to use an old jar that you're not gonna be using to sell. Use one of the jars that you are going to sell. You're gonna to have to test anyhow, and sometimes testing yes can be costly and you can waste materials because I could have sold this jar, but instead I'm using it for testing purposes um so just keep that in mind now let's get into basically this demonstration so you can see exactly what i'm trying to explain here hold on one second so as i was saying you can basically take your jar set it on top of the scale make sure your scale is on ounces so this is showing zero fluid ounces at this point. So the manufacturer of the jar basically determines the weight of the jar just by using water. And again, water is more heavy than wax. So you're not going to be able to determine your wax that way. Um, So I'm just going to pour the water into the jar up to 13 and a half ounces, which is 
the recommended fill for a candle. So that's about 13 and a half ounces, which would be perfect for a candle fill. That's perfect for a candle fill. So now we know, okay, 13 and a half ounces is great for the fill of my candle, but this is water. And we need to determine net weight of the wax. So basically how I determine how much wax I'm going to melt is, I take an empty pouring pitcher, place it on my scale. You wanna make sure your scale is always reading zero because you don't want to add the weight of the pouring pitcher. So after that, I have some wax here. I'm just using some old pellet wax that I'm not going to use for my candles just to get my measurement. So I'm going to pour the wax into the pouring pitcher until it gets to about 13 and a half ounces. approximately 13 and a half ounces of wax. I'm now going to use the old school method, which is basically a double boiler for me, um, to melt this wax, and then we'll go from there. And for those of you who don't know, this is the double boiler method. You basically just use a hot plate, you use a melting pitcher, and then you put the wax in and allow it to melt in a pot of boiling water. This is where I started, but now that I'm actually selling more candles, I now need the melting pot and multiple melting pots. So um, this was good in the beginning, but you know, you move on to bigger things when you are starting to sell more. Now that our wax has melted completely, we wanna go ahead and put the empty jar back on the scale, cut it on, Make sure it's set at zero, and that is on fluid ounces. And then you want to pour your hot wax into your jar. And we want to stop it about there. As you can see, that is about 12 ounces, well, 12.1 ounces. And what's left in the pitcher is minimal, just a little bit. That's just a few ounces, um, not even a few ounces. That's probably like a half ounce. So the next time, you may want to go ahead and scale it back a little bit. And instead of using 13.5 ounces um, of dry wax to go ahead and melt, you may want to just make it 13. And so then you'll know 13 ounces of dry wax is the equivalent of 12.1 ounces of um, melted wax. Whew, I'm back. So what did you think? Wasn't that a simple way to figure out how you're going to fill your jar with wax, how much you need rather? You don't have to do any calculations. You basically just use the method that I just showed you and you're good to go. You can do it with a six ounce jar, 10 ounce jar, 20 ounce jar, 13 ounce jar, it does not matter. It definitely works, it's super simple, it's super easy, and I promise you, it will make your life much easier when trying to figure these things out. 
So let me know what you think about this quick tip tutorial that I showed you today. If you used it, if you plan on using it, what your thoughts are. Um, I'd love to hear from you and just see, you know, if this worked for you and made your life <laughs> so much easier because I know it made my life easier and it definitely worked for me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!